Hi, this is James of Megalife21.com, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. And we are here uh, with uh, barbecuing uh, with Megalife21. Before I removed chicken quarters that were marinating overnight in Jamaican jerk seasoning, not chicken half, chicken quarters. And um, now we're going to flip the large hamburgers that I made, homemade hamburgers. Uh, with uh, well, mine is has blackened seasoning. Right. Now here's some of the chicken that wasn't quite done yet. Okay. So we're going to remove the last. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully, you know, unfortunately, it's just how it is. Uh, chicken takes a long time. You got to do it low and slow. Got to make sure there's no risk of salmonella. Make sure it's well cooked. Okay. Now I'm going to turn over. The hamburgers for the women, small ones. You want to call them small, right? Uh, and here's mine. The big Bronto burger with lots of uh, Cajun. Um, Louisiana jerk seasoning. Right. Wow, you can smell that seasoning. How about that? I'm using an old-fashioned wood charcoal like I always use. I just want to say something about the Food Channel. <laughs> There's a couple shows. There's a couple shows on the air. Uh, one is called Chopped and the other one is called, I believe, The Ultimate Challenge. And I was talking in the other shows. The other videos about this nitpicky, these nitpicky anal retentive uh, judges that they have that look for every little fault, even though the fault is not there. Uh, this one guy, I mean, just listening to how stupid and silly and nitpicky they are, and then seeing the dinner, seeing the result of all these shows, this gourmet fusion cooking, you know, like I said many times, where you have a big plate and a little tiny blob of, of dinner, if you want to call it dinner, that keeps on shrinking with every week that goes by on the Food Channel. It's shrinking and shrinking. It's a tiny little blob of dinner with an... They try to be artistic. Meanwhile, you're starving. After you pay 100, 150 bucks for dinner in these restaurants, you're, you know, because you're so, you're so special, you're so much better than everyone else. These hoity-toity, higher-income people have to go to these special gourmet fusion restaurants and pay all this money so they can brag to all their friends and family that they went to this supposedly highly rated restaurant, right? And they brag how much they paid. Anyway, there's no dinner. There's no meal. It's shrinking. And all it is is, is artistic. You know, who cares about art? I want portions. I want portions, man. I want to walk out like I, I've had a meal. I want to walk out full. And barbecuing with Mega Life 21 is about quality as well as sufficient quantity. So this whole thing, you know, all these stupid shows with these wussies, these wussy, wimp, uh, 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 so-called sophisticated judges, okay? I think the guy's name is Jeffrey. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But those are the two shows. I think. It's one is called Chopped and the other one is Ultimate Challenge. I believe all those shows have the same judges. And what are they judging? Artistic ability? Who cares about artistic? You got these these squiggly, different color squiggly lines of sauce around a little teeny tiny little meal like this. Who the fuck cares? Seriously. People want to eat. They want quality as well as quantity. So if those guys were right here, I'd pile drive them and body slam them right down, right here in front of my grill. Those judges on the Food Channel. And you know who you are. You people annoy me more, a lot more, than some of those people, those cooks on the Food Channel. The ones that bug the hell out of me. You know, like Barefoot Contessa, Paula Dean, Rachel Ray, you know. The woman is definitely no rocket scientist, and she's making millions because Oprah took a liking to her. Oh, by the way, Oprah is not as generous as you think. I, I believe, I believe I was told 
all those gifts that she gives are from sponsors. She don't even pay for them. And there's a rumor that she's a real bad tipper. In other words, she don't tip. So anyway, what do you think, camera woman? You think these burgers are about done? Almost, so you need to put cheese. Oh, that's right. You're, you're right, the cheese. How about that? Um, let me just put the garbage cheese on the people who don't care. You want you want the other cheese, right? No. No, well, what is is this you cheese for you, the the jalapeno. Oh, okay. And this is okay. It's an, I don't and know. You don't mind the American? Cuz it's oh, I you don't, don't want I don't know. I don't know if it's enough. It's processed. The American cheese is phony cheese. It's processed. They call it I think it's processed cheese food. You know like Velveeta? It's not even real cheese. I got jalapeno Monterey Jack, right? And then I'll put it on, on yours. That's enough. I'll give you... No, no, we're about portions here. We're not, we're not a bunch of wimps here at Mega Life 21. Like those, 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 those wimp wussies on the food channel. You want, you want some of that garbage no. processed uh, American cheese? No. Oh, okay. And then we have here... You want me to toast some of these? Yes. These are potato buns. Potato rolls. They can't be on too long, by the way. Oh, wait until you see the next video. We're gonna we're gonna have nice veggies. We're gonna have mushrooms and uh, onions on kebab skewers. Okay, mushrooms and onions on kebab skewers, and we're gonna we're gonna barbecue arepas, Colombian arepas, authentic that Esmeralda, the uh, personal assistant of the Wizard Ozzy Buko, Esmeralda, will make personally. We'll catch you on the next video. These are probably done. I'll see you.